Welcome to the video guys. Given the lack of progress on the Brexit trade deal, more people are coming out and telling Boris Johnson to literally ignore the EU and Michel Barnier from now on and just prepare for a WTO Brexit. Which, as you all know, would be a dream come true for me, but is about as likely as the carbonated chicken coming out and saying the boats crossing the channel must be stopped. It is a fantasy given the current state of weak governance we are seeing from the Tories, but it's not completely impossible, I feel I should point that out. You you might remember earlier this year Boris Johnson saying if no deal is made by June or July we prepare to leave on WTO terms and bin the trade deal. Of course that did not happen and Boris will blame everything but his own weakness for it as politicians always do. Now I should also point out that from the face of it it does look like Boris Johnson and his Brexit team appear to be sticking to their guns on the issue of Brexit in relation of course to getting a trade deal done but appearances can be deceiving so we will have to wait and see, especially when you factor in, like I said, he was meant to have stopped talking to the EU in June or July if nothing was done by then. Well, Ben Habib, the former Brexit party MEP, has called on Boris Johnson to do more, or should we say less in this regard, because as is reported here in the Telegraph, he wants Boris to stop talking to Barnier and head for a no-deal Brexit now, with the headline, let's stop talking to Barnier and show our mettle by going for a no-deal Brexit, which obviously, you all know, I 100% agree with. After failing to fulfil our threat to pursue no deal without a satisfactory deal in place, it's high time we stopped showing weakness. Which, once again, I 100% agree with, but Boris Johnson ain't going to do that. It is the one thing he has been known for over the past few months. The UK's negotiating mandate for future arrangements with the EU released in February this year states that if a deal with the EU has not been more or less reached by the 30th of June, the UK would likely cease negotiations and make preparations to exit the transition period without a deal. Which was obviously all great words but never actually happened and to be honest I'm really not surprised with that. If Boris Johnson is going to go for a no deal Brexit I expect it will be at the very last minute or not long before it. That deadline came and went by but the UK did not do as it suggested it might. The EU no doubt saw this as weak notwithstanding the entirely reasonable demand of the UK to be sovereign agreement of a trade deal with the EU has floundered on this point of principle. Because obviously the EU are the low-life shit weasels as we know and they want things that no other trading partner has ever asked for in a trade deal of any kind. So of course the deal was always going to flounder when they do that, but the government should have actually stood firm, went straight down for no deal and forced the EU to either come back to the table or just take us out with no deal, which is what we all want. In his latest pronunciation, Michel Barnier has refused to continue to discussing any aspects of a deal until the UK accepts continuity with EU state aid and its fisheries policy. In other words, the EU requires the UK to sacrifice its sovereignty to get a deal which can never happen, and is like I said the reason why we should use international law and the EU's actions to get out of the withdrawal agreement and just go on a WTO Brexit right now, though technically it wouldn't be right now but it would be a WTO Brexit, and there are reports out that suggest it is legally possible possible and Boris Johnson could do it if he had the political will, which we know he doesn't. There is no doubt that the EU have been emboldened by the apparent lack of preparedness of the UK to walk away from negotiations in July. They must be disabused of this notion, which yes they must, but Boris Johnson is not going to do it. He is Theresa May in trousers as it stands. Faced with the latest egregious demand, it is imperative the UK now ceases discussions. It is axiomatic that to get a good deal, the UK must be prepared to leave without one. Moreover, the Prime Minister was elected on a promise of taking back control of our laws, our borders, our cash and our fishing. It is time for him to show some real metal and fulfil his promises by declaring in favour of no deal. And given the wholly unreasonable position taken by the EU, he should take the opportunity to repudiate the withdrawal agreement which holds no benefit, only ills for the UK. Which, as you just heard, I had literally just pointed out a few seconds ago and have said in many videos before. It is that agreement that contains the pernicious Northern Ireland Protocol and about which I have previously written at length. The protocol puts a border down the Irish Sea, leaving Northern Ireland in the EU's custom union and subject to swathes of EU law, including on state aid. Putting a border down the middle of the United Kingdom would not just be a national humiliation, it would threaten the Union itself. It is, therefore, not sufficient only to declare in favour of no deal, the withdrawal agreement must also be abrogated. 
which obviously you know I 100% agree with. I want the withdrawal agreement torn up, thrown in the toilet, pulled back out and shoved in Barnier and the EU's face. And let's make sure someone has just had the worst case of diarrhoea in that toilet before it without flushing the chain. And yes, he is right, the Northern Ireland situation could well turn into a complete and utter shit show if it's allowed to do it, which, obviously, Boris is weak, the EU are a bunch of cunts, so you can 100% guarantee that they will. The vote for Brexit was a vote for the UK to regain its sovereignty, no ifs, no buts. That vote took place over four years ago, it's high time to enact it. No, it was high time to enact it four years ago, the day after it was done, but obviously we know what governments are like, and what the British Parliament has been doing over the past four years which appears not to really be stopping just changing its tune a little because Boris Johnson is not going for the strong options that he claimed he would instead he is just wasting time and using every excuse he can to make out like it's not his fault if ever was the time to leave it is now and like was said here and I've said before take the opportunity of the EU's actions to get rid of the withdrawal agreement completely and start again via a WTO Brexit it and once we're out we can make a trade deal with the EU. It's not exactly difficult, it's common fucking sense. But I've gotta say, Ben Habib is clearly on the money with this and is literally pointing out things I have said before. Will Boris Johnson do it? No, it is not really likely. Of course it is possible that he might, but I wouldn't hold your breath on it as I keep saying. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>